good, right. Welcome to Narrow Village Jamesville. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me. This is my new table leg. Ish. Um, basically, um, this is what civil engineers use for railings and balustrading for like damn heavy stuff. Um, these uh, grub screws have got a load bearing uh, weight of a metric ton. So I'm pretty sure it would be all right for a table. The, uh, the reason I've got, I need your help basically. Um, my plan, the reason I haven't gone for a pedestal leg is as I said on the previous video, they cost about two, 400 quid. Um, they're from a chandlery obviously, so it's all a bit ridiculous. Um, and I don't need it to be anything like that, but essentially I need the same thing to happen, i.e. the top of this needs to also be used at this level here. Um, and I don't want anything kind of coming out of the dinette because I haven't built it with that in mind. So I don't really want to retrospectively fit something because that would mean raising the dinette and then putting a leaf in or something like that. I can't be bothered to do all that. Um, and the dinette is the right height, so I don't want to do that. So um, the only thing is, is for the leg of the table to be adjustable, should we say. Um, so this is what I've gone for, basically. Um, this is 60 mil pipe or tube um, on galvanized steel uh, kind of floor brackets, floor clamps. Uh, as I said, they've got like a really decent load capacity on these. Um, the idea is that I'm going to get like a 10 mil base plate to fit on that so this can be bolted through because it's cast uh, you can't drill this or you can't weld it to anything so I'm going to basically bolt that to a bigger plate and put that on the floor which will give it a bit more stability and then up here obviously I've got to trim the pipe uh, the tube but up here I'll get some quick release grub screws so you just basically get it on a, an allen key on a handle um, so you just take them out easily, take this off or, you know, with the pipe or do it at the lower one. I haven't quite worked all that bit out yet and then change it. The reason I've got to change it from the tabletop to the bed uh, is a few reasons for it. Um, and this is kind of dictating my design method for it. Um, so firstly, the base of the bed needs to occupy that space there. So coming out to there. And straight up to there. Um, oh, move that way, it weighs a ton. Um, so obviously that gives a stable base for the bed, fine. Um, but the bed is going to be kind of seldom in position. It's going to be mostly the table. Um, and the table does not want to occupy that space there. Otherwise, when you're here, it'll be like here. That'd be, it'd be awful. Um, you want the table kind of starting around there, I'd say. So it's kind of a bit more... It's not going to be as big, um, but it's fine. As long as it can fit like four plates on it, it's kind of all it needs to be. Um, five. Five kids' plates, or you know, you know what I mean. So, but, and the other thing is, so it doesn't need to be the same size as the bed. And also, I'd like the tabletop to be something quite nice. The bed base can be OSB for all I care, but the top of the table, I want it to be nice, like oak or an old surfboard, I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, shaped and it doesn't want to come out at an angle here. That wants to be nice and rounded so you don't hit yourself on it. Same here, getting in and out. It just wants to be all kind of nice and rounded. So this, the table is certainly not the same material as the base of the bed. Um, the only thing I've got to work out is on this exactly how it kind of, how I swap it. Because I could get a small tube to go inside this. So basically cut this off at the height of the, of the, height of the table. Uh, of the height of the bed, sorry, and then have a tube inside which raises up with a couple of bolts going through it to kind of clamp it in position, raise up, and that comes to the same height as this. Um, but then the, the issue with that is that the tabletop, if I was to raise this up, then I'm raising the bed up, and I don't want this bed frame or the bed base to be up at this level um, because, as I said, it will kind of cut into me, so I don't need, I don't want that. So the base of the bed basically has to go. So what I'm thinking is basically getting another one of these and having one leg at the right height for the bed and one leg at the right height for the table. 
then I'll, all I need to do is release them. I don't have to worry about height adjustment, just take it off and stow it away. Um, there's loads, well, there will be loads more room to stow stuff because I'm going to build more of those kind of kind of invisible units. They take up no space at all, li literally none, um, no usable space. Um, so I'm going to kind of put it all the way down there as well. So I'll be able to stow this stuff away and the tape and the base of the bed can stow away behind here. So that's going to be fine. Um, the only thing I'm questioning, though, is stability and the wobble factor. I'm thinking once I've got a bigger base plate on there and again on the top, um, it's, it's not going to wobble that much at all, but it might do. Um, I don't basically I just don't know. Um, so I might end up opting for two of these legs, might get another one. These are cheap. These are like 20 quid or something. So it's, it's pretty cheap. Um, but they sell them in like mass. So the guy we were on the phone was like, what, you want one of them? I said, yeah. He goes, well, the last guy ordered like 5,000. So um, anyway, so I could get another one there and they don't, yeah, they, they're kind of comfortable. They don't occupy much space in the, around the legs or whatever. So yeah, I reckon that'll be the way forward. But I'd like your thoughts on how I could possibly do it. The only thing I don't want uh, is on the tabletop is for bits to fold out because that'd be the other option is to have the tabletop and then for bits to fold out of it and for it to become the base um the only thing i the the so i don't want that because the folding out bits are just going to get broken by the kids and there's to fold something out then you need a, a strut or a support underneath it to hold it and it's all just going to get broken so the only thing i could do though is have the table here and then have a piece that goes on top of the table so then I could lower the whole thing and the bit basically sits on top of the table. That's the only other factor, which is then I could have the tube inside the tube, if that were the case. And then just have an adjustable one there, quick release, lower it, put the top on, done. Then the table doesn't have to be stowed away and this doesn't have to be stowed away. That's the only, only advantage of doing that. So I'd like your thoughts, basically. Um, I've got a couple of days to work on this because uh, I've got a couple of I've got you know kids tomorrow night and then Ava's kickboxing on Wednesday and a few other bits so I've got a few days to think about it so uh, yeah I'll work it out I'll get the guys here to cut this whenever I've worked out how to do it um, talking about the guys here so I spoke to Ralph this morning he's got all the bits in he needs which is brilliant news I think they're going to kind of look to start work on it tomorrow. Uh, they are a really busy boatyard here. I've seen so much activity, so much movement of boats today. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they'll kind of get cracking on that in the next few days. Ralph did say that um, they're going to basically see how it goes because they might need to move the engine backwards a little bit um, or sorry, towards the front of the boat a little bit because they've just got, if, you, if Paul, if you're watching this, just remember that it's just no room to play with there at the back. So, um, they're going to see how it goes, basically. And if they need to shimmy the engine back a little bit, then, then so be it. I'm just trying to work out what implications that has with regard to the door and the alternator and everything like that. But we'll work it out. In the meantime, I've got to work this out as well. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it'll be a good solution. Um, I quite like the galvanised steel look. Oh, shit. I quite like the galvanised steel look, um, even though it weighs a sodding tonne. So I think it's going to be fit for purpose. I mean, it's already pretty stable, so who knows? Anyway, so yeah, I look forward to your comments on this one. I'm going to crack on and do a bit more of that as well. So yeah, loads to do. Hope you guys are well. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.